Hey everyone, wanted to do a quick video about this new moon that's coming up. Everybody, I've been getting a lot of questions about it, so I figured let's pull a bunch of cards and see what comes up for everybody. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to be probably maybe as bad as people think. I think if, if we see anything uh, happen as far as the moon is concerned, it'll probably be on a global scale. could even be, you know, just something that happens to... Uh, you know, things that happen to groups of people, affect groups of people, anything along those lines as well. Could see stuff happening in the media and things like that as well. But let's see what comes up for this moon. Should be pretty interesting. I think for me, it's, uh, you know, I think for me, for you, basically, I think for everybody, really, it's about needing to uh, face fears. I've been talking about it for a long time. Now, you know, everybody's trying to start new things, but, you know, it's kind of all over the place. Nobody knows what they're trying to start, and they keep you know, trying other things as well. And, uh, yeah, and, you know, I think it's kind of like people feeling like they're stuck on a hamster wheel. I also think people will probably want to escape at this time. Uh, so no no escaping. Of course, you know, Chiron and Pisces is uh, all about escaping. We have a lot of energy in Pisces as well. Uh, and it's all about, you know, wanting to escape, feeling like you want to escape. Uh, but we have the Two of Diamonds, so matching up perfectly with something under this um under this new moon. There is a lot of positivity. Of course, we can uh, start new things at this time. And uh, I also believe Uranus is conjunct Mars at that time as well. And, you know, that could bring in a lot of positive surprises, a lot of ideas for new kind of uh, directions for new actions that you could be taking at this time. And, um, you know, could even lead to new, you know, money coming in as well. You have the four of diamonds as well, which could you know, also be a card of new money, new things coming in at this time. Uh, we do have the Eight of Spades, of course. Eight of Spades does represent doing something difficult, going through some sort of difficult period of time, and ending up with something very nice. So there could be some difficulties with this new moon, of course, like I said. Um, although I think that for, you know, I think just based on my feeling, I, I think that there are old difficulties, old things popping up in your head, old ideas of being trapped, old ideas of not being able to break through. I mean, I think a lot of people, especially probably this last week, leading, you know, leading up to this moon here, probably feel like they're trapped or they can't get out or there's kind of no way to, you know, kind of move forward. That's all Pisces. That's all the Pisces energy, uh, especially with Chiron there. So needing to move past that and just needing to kind of like stick it out at this time is going to be very important. Uh, next, Three of Hearts. Yes, uh, Three of Hearts, a really good card. It, you know, I call this card an indicator card. I always say that it doesn't mean anything bad is going to happen. It means that, you know, there's like a lot of positivity and a lot of good things happening. What I will say is it does say that things uh, could, that something could be missing to create balance. And uh, that thing is you, by the way, under this new moon. So definitely needing to uh, kind of like bring you into the picture and get things kind of moving forward at this time. So uh, you need to be present. Again, sometimes I think with Pisces, with the Pisces energy, Chiron, of course, there, uh, I think that we can be absent. You know, we can, like, want to live in our daydreams. We can want to escape into our heads and all this other stuff. So needing to be present and needing to kind of go for what you want at this time. Uh, next, Four of Diamonds uh, kind of got the word solutions on this card. So I think that there are a lot of solutions at this time. Again, probably involving you. I think on the same day, um, again, I haven't really uh, taken the time, I guess, to study the astrology before this. But I think on the same day, Mars moves into Capricorn pretty much right after the new moon. So uh, again, action coming up with solutions. I think that there probably are a lot of solutions uh, coming up at this time. A lot of the planets are at critical degrees um, at this time as well. So uh, that's pretty interesting. Like I said, I, I think I would be more concerned with this new moon if Chiron was at 29 degrees, which is considered a critical degree. And, um, you know, that would be, like I said, that would be more concerning to me, but it's only at 28 degrees, I believe. So, you know, I don't think that it's going to be that big of a deal. This card represents new things coming in, and uh, but it also represents patience and needing to follow steps. I've been talking about this in everybody's videos. Um, all the Cap uh, Capricorn energy, very step-by-step, -step, needing to come up with steps, needing to think about steps, needing to uh, take the steps to make new things happen in your life. Uh, next to a spade separating away from something, uh, probably a way of belief, just, you know, changing your mind about something. Basically, I always say this is a card of changing your mind, card of l looking at things in a different way as well. I think that even if there is some sort of, you know, issue during this new moon for people, I do think that if you just open your eyes, you will find very easy solutions as well to these problems. And uh, next, we have the King of Spades. Not really surprised to see this. This is a card of uh, realizing your problems are your own. And, you know, you see here he's cut the head off of this snake. Snakes represent our fears. Uh, this came up for one of the signs last week, or, you know, for the this weekly's readings. And um, it's a card of facing your fears, overcoming your fears, and 
uh, if you can do that, you can become very, very successful. King of Spades, probably the most successful card in the deck. Uh, on every deck that I use, the King of Spades is, you know, something very important, whether it's like cutting that off a snake like this, or uh, I have a deck where it's a guy with a bunch of military medals on his chest and it really represents having been through a lot of battles having you know overcome a lot of challenges uh, part of me feels like this is kind of like our final one of our final tests through pisces you know one of our final battles basically before we move forward and even the last card here is the jack of hearts so something new and uh, moving forward in a new way being very uh, excited as well to me this is a card of happiness and having good things coming in um, so definitely you know I'd say don't give up during this moon I think that a lot of people I think that will be the probably the strongest feeling if anything just wanting to quit something wanting to le just leave something wanting to not keep going so definitely don't do that uh, you know, keep going because again, you're, these cards all say that you're almost there. You're almost to the finish line. And part of me feels like that's what this moon is all about. So anyway, I hope this helps everybody. Looks good to me. Like I said, I'm not worried about it. I think it's going to be kind of lead to a lot of great stuff, a lot of great starts. It might bring up old wounds and all this other stuff. But uh, again, I wouldn't really be worried about that. So thank you for watching and uh, definitely good luck during this moon.